Hey everyone, Codextral here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get on your PS4 without a capture card. Uh, this is the Elgato capture card, even a Posh, Razor Ripsaw, any form of TV tuner, no capture card needed. Um, so I'm going to be showing you how to get gameplay, how to record it, how to stream it from your computer, how to play it from your computer, stuff like that from your computer. So first things first, what we want to do is... Uh, sign in towards our uh, PS4. Uh, we want to go towards our toolbox, the settings, um, and we, there's some stuff that you're going to be needed to uh, be doing. So go ahead and hit the settings. Uh, player network account management. Then activate as your primary PS4. Then go ahead and hit activate. Then So that's step one. Uh, these are fairly simple steps. Step two. Uh, your remote play connection settings so um, make sure that um, enable remote play is checkmarked which it is and connect directly with a uh, PS Vita or uh, PS TV make sure that's enabled uh, checkmarked which it is uh, and last settings that we gotta do go towards your power save settings and go ahead and make sure um, and the set features available in rest mode Make sure that these two are enabled and this is always. That's it. Now, that's for the PS4. So we're gonna go ahead and move on towards our computer. So let's uh, go ahead and do that now. So you wanna download the installer. I will go ahead and provide a link for you guys. Um, this is the link, uh, the page that you're gonna be going on. So this can happen with the uh, Windows PC and the Mac. Uh, once you get that downloaded, um, it'll tell you the steps of what you need to do. We already covered those steps. Um, you wanna install that. So let's go ahead and run our um, PS4 remote play and follow the guidelines to that. So soon as it pops up it's going to ask of you to get your controller right which i'm doing right now it's either you get the usb and plug it into your computer or you get the wireless dongle usb and connect it there or even if your computer has um bluetooth which in theory it should work i'm not 100 percent but it should work but uh, we'll go ahead and plug in our uh, controller with the uh, USB cable. And then what's gonna happen is we're gonna go ahead and click on options on our controller. And then we're gonna have to go ahead and sign in. So bear with me, I'm gonna put my information in. So I'm putting in my information in right now and I'm doing the whole CAPTCHA stuff. You know, just to verify that I'm not a robot, uh, we're gonna go ahead and hit sign in. Right. Okay. Now this is gonna start doing its process. It's gonna find your uh, PS4, so let that go through. So now it says, when a connection um, is about to be lost, this icon will be displayed. So which an icon it did display. So, um, now we want to go back towards our uh, PS4. Oh, oh, okay, never mind. So this just in, that popped up. So this pops up automatically. Um, hold on, let me just go towards my screen only. Screen only, screen only. Okay. Cool. So uh, why is it black and white? Let's expand that. And let's unexpand that. Okay, I figured out the problem. All I had to do is just uh, reset my computer. So if it gave you a black and white screen on your uh, PS4, go ahead and just reset it. Um, I did a little bit more of a troubleshooting on my end just to make sure that it's gonna display correctly, which it's doing right now. So um, if that pops up for y'all, it's like blacked out and a little bit of white, go ahead and just reset your computer. Um, even your PS4, why the hell not? You got nothing else to lose. So now that we're in, and I'm, as you can see, I am still on my computer. I can get, I can record my gameplay now. Um, I can play some games. So, um, Kingdom Hearts. Why the hell not? Just make sure, uh, to let you guys know that I'm actually 
playing Kingdom Hearts. So um, there's other controller options down below. So um, if you want to, yeah, let me just disable that. Sorry, I, I I don't know where the remote from a TV is, so that's why you guys are hearing that feedback. So if you guys want to talk, like if you have a um, a headset connected towards your computer. You can go ahead and talk from your computer. You can use your laptop's microphone. You can use a Blue Yeti microphone um, to talk through you the, the PS4. All you gotta do is you know, make sure that's connected. Uh, hit the unmute button. Now people are able to hear me. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and unmute my, or back to mute myself. Um, if you guys can hear that scratching, that's my son um, at the door. So, um, additionally, a couple of things. You can stream from OBS, you can stream from XSplit. I'm using XSplit. Um, it's the same concept with OBS. XSplit is free to a point. OBS is completely free. Uh, the two differences is um, XSplit, for all you free users who can't you know, afford for things, uh, like a capture card, that's why you're watching this video. Um, I would suggest using OBS. Uh, but for XSplit, um, if you guys want to use XSplit, you can. Up to 720 uh, pixels. If you want 1080 pixels, it would make sense to use OBS. But I like XSplit. I pay for it. So, um, anyways, back on to what I was saying. So, we're going to go ahead and move myself towards the right. So, I'm right here. And right there is the PS4. So if we were to, um, on our X split, and let's pretend that this is OBS as well. So if we were hit to hit the add button, then hit the game capture, then auto detect, then it'll grab um, this right here, and it will stream that, the entire screen. So it's either, you can do it how I'm doing, or you can actually get the whole uh, capture of the gameplay, which is right there, right then and there. So, a little bit of latency, a um, little bit of lag for that. Um, if you guys are over Wi-Fi, then you probably would be experiencing what I'm experiencing. But if you're over on an Ethernet connection, um, everything will be fast, smooth, as possible. Um, it just really depends on what your guys' setup is. Um, oh, now it's going a lot faster for me. But anyways. Yep. Hold on a second. Auto detect. So that's a little bit of slow. If we get rid of that and just go back towards our main. But just make that really big. Then it's a whole lot faster. Okay. So, um, forget the whole... <laughs> um, game detect crap so oops so instead of uh you know where we hit add then uh, game capture and auto detect don't do that i just now figured it out that was the source of the lag so just make this full screen by dragging it up and it's a whole lot faster that's it so um if anything else, uh, this is fairly simple, fairly straightforward. Did a little bit of troubleshooting as we were doing this video. So if you guys like my video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. It helps out. I will come out with new content for all you gamers out there. If you're a console player, if you're a, P um, a PC player, uh, even if you're a mobile player. Um, other tips and tricks, stuff like that. So definitely hit the subscribe button and like my videos. Um... Yeah, peace out. Oh, oh, wrong one. There we go. End the video.